In this video, we're going to have a look at equations with pronumerals on both sides. When there are pronumerals on both sides of the equation, the first step is to get all the terms involving the pronumeral on the same side of the equation sign, then continue to solve the equation as previously done. Here, we have 9x on the left and 3x on the right. If we subtract 3x from both sides, we'll end up with 6x minus 7 equals 11. Now it's a normal two-step equation. The inverse of subtracting 7 is adding 7 to each side and the inverse of multiplying by 6 is dividing by 6 each side to get our final solution of x equals 3. Checking is a little different. We need to substitute x equals 3 into both the left hand side and the right hand side. 9 times 3 minus 7 which is 27 minus 7 which is 20. It should also equal 3 times 3 plus 11 which is 9 plus 11, which is also 20. Since the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, our solution is true. Let's do another one. Now, in this case, if I subtracted 9x from both sides, I would end up with a negative 3x on the left. To avoid having to work with negatives, I'm going to subtract 6x and have the pronumerals on the right-hand side of the equation. Subtracting 6x from each side, I end up with 9 equals 3x plus 3. Now it's a normal two-step equation. It just happens that our pronumerals is on the right-hand side. The inverse of adding 3 is taking away 3 from each side. And the inverse of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3 each side. Here we have 2 equals x. We can then simply write our final answer as x equals 2. We just flip the left-hand side to the right-hand side and the right to the left. Checking our solution, substituting it into the left-hand side, I have 6 times 2 plus 9, which is 12 plus 9, which equals 21. And the right-hand side, 9 times 2 plus 3, which is 18 plus 3 which equals also 21. Since the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, our solution is true.